lead up to the tournament. Um, they don't intersect in this first season because I wanted to make sure that the groundwork was set. So they're all different origin stories on all the different characters and different time periods and things like that um, to make sure that we all know why the hell they would even go and join the tournament and why it's important that they go and why Scorpion and Sub-Zero are arch enemies, etc. So we, we are laying the groundwork for that. The through line is the fact that they all get invited to the tournament at the end. Okay, so I know everyone is dying to know how you ultimately negotiated the mystical elements with the kind of real world feel that you had set up initially. Yeah, well, I always wanted to do the mystical stuff, but I didn't want to do it campy. I didn't want it to turn into, you know, a big uh, magic show. So it's, it's there, um, but it's there very carefully. It's not like I, Sub-Zero every five seconds is throwing like an ice bomb at Scorpion, and Scorpion doesn't use his spear more than once, you know? So I made sure to balance that so that it wasn't overbearing and it was just more there to kind of help tell the story. So did you give real world motivations for all of the mystical elements as you did in, in the first one? Yes, definitely. And, you know, and with each different storyline, it kind of varies. You know, with Sonya Jackson Kano, they are real world characters. But with Katana Molina, who's supposed to take place in, a, in another realm, I made that a little bit more mystical. Um, but tried to keep uh, it grounded in an emotional sense. So it's always, it's always grounded in this universe emotionally. Um, but the elements around them can be different. Like Scorpion and Sub-Zero takes place in ancient Japan. You know, where Sonya Jacks Kano takes place now. So it, it, it kind of varies all over the map. Okay, well, speaking of Katana Melina, there was a there was an image released of two women fighting, and yeah. everyone's dying to know if that's them. That's and, them. The, and the rivalry is going to play out. Yes, and you're going to find out why there's a rivalry. Um, it's a story about when they were teenagers, so they don't have their their game costumes, you know, that that have become kind of famous. They're you know, they, it's about Katana Melina growing up and how Melina dealt with being, you know, half monster and, and why Kitana uh, doesn't know about her past and doesn't know who her real father is and things like that. So it's a young, it's a younger story of Kitana Melina. Okay, so Mortal Kombat Rebirth sort of denotes a reimagining, which it was. Mm. And then Legacy sounds like some kind of a passing on, or is there something inherent in the title? Is it a passing on to the film, perhaps, or...? Well, I think the, the, the film version is always something that I have a ma the main goal to do. Um, Legacy is just speaking about the fact that, you know, Mortal Kombat's been around for a very long time, and these stories are why they've been around for so long. And it, I just wanted to make sure that the history of Mortal Kombat was told um, very specifically on each character and didn't have to get jumbled up by colliding with each other's storylines. So this is the legacy of Mortal Kombat that leads up to what everyone already knows, which is the video game storyline. So this is all the stuff that happened before. And unless you know that legacy, you don't know why it's so big. Um, so yeah. Have you worked in conjunction, um, A, with the game, the re as the game is sort of going back to the, its roots, and then B, have you talked to Warner Brothers about the film? Is that in the works? Is it in development? Well, we're always talking about it. I think, you know, uh, what needs to happen is that this needs to do well first. You know, I think uh, I need to prove that there is a big audience that really wants to see a movie version. But it is something that we're always kind of talking about and thinking about. At least Ed Boon and I are always, you know, kind of chatting about it. So it's, uh, it's definitely a possibility.